gave a historical rental, but it was as if they didn't notice him, but the Japanese won gold with serious mistakes. What's happened? The World Championship in Satama was a happy one for the Japanese team. Two gold medals in women's singles and pair skating, and one more was in doubt. The showdown in the men's loneliness was fierce. Russian-American Ilya Malinin announced crazy content from six quads, including a quadruple axle, and did not hit the dirt in the face, but this was not enough to win. The judges did not seem to notice his historical performance, simply robbing the student of Rafael Arutinian. Somehow, the Korean with only two quads and the Japanese with serious errors ended up higher. Shomuno took home the third award of the highest dignity, defending the title and becoming a two-time winner of the World Championship. One of the most exciting competitions at the World Championships is in men's singles. Traditionally, this discipline has the highest competition and a very unusual spread of participants in the standings. Already in the first warm-up in the free program, there was someone to look at. It was curious whether Morris Kvitelishvili, a student of Atari Tutbirds, could be rehabilitated for an unsuccessful rental in the short program. Unfortunately, the skater failed to give his maximum. He began his performance with a confident cascade of a quadruple salkau and a triple toe loop, but then mistakes fell one after another. The athlete made a butterfly on a quad toe loop in combination with a double axle, could not perform one of the combinations, landing only a triple flip and an oiler, but without adding the last jump. Solo quadruple toe loop Maurice jumped qualitatively, however, the reserve of strength was exhausted on this. The clumsy wheel blurred the impression of his rental, so the judges were not distinguished by their generosity. 139.27 points, in total 212.32. The two-time bronze medalist of the World Championships, Jin Boyang, was also far from ideal. Help failed the skater, who fell twice from quads from a Lutz and a toe loop, allowed a butterfly on one of the trixels, and double jumped several times. The scores did not please the athlete. 129.18 points, in total 204.22. But Mikhail Shaderov had a reason to be proud. A student of Alexei Ermanov gave a cool skate with three clean quads, combination 4 plus 3 from toe loop, solo quad salkau, and a combination of quad toe loop oiler triple salkau. In addition, the skater performed two triple axles, one of them in a double sequence. Artistically, the 18-year-old athlete is still not up to the leaders, but he is still ahead. His result is 161.52 points for the free program, 236.93 for both. Only Mateo Rizzo was able to get around Shaderov in the first two warm-ups, who performed a combination of a quadruple and a double toe loop, a quad loop and two triple axles. Despite some mistakes, he got 176.76 points, for a total of 256.04. Adam Shiamfa allowed a lot of mud on two quad toe loops and a triplexel, but managed to land a quad salkau. As a result, the referees rated his free program at 173.33 points, for a total of 253.11. Denis Vasiliev, who, contrary to custom, was somewhat emotionally constrained, could not give the audience a real show, and still could not cope with the only quadruple salkau. For his performance, he received 160.78 points, the final result is 243.15. But Vladimir Litvinsev skated very brightly. Victoria Bitseva's ward made two quad toe loops, one in a combination with a triple, performed two triple axles cleanly, and performed the rest of the elements at the highest level. In the free program, here in the best points of the season 169.05, in total 251.76. It seemed that Daniel Grassel was worthy competition to him. A quadruple Lutz, a quadruple loop, two triple axles, complex cascades, unusual choreography with a wheel of Terry Tupperds as student gave it is all. At first sight, the smile of the Russian coach was replaced by a grimace of disappointment when she saw the marks of the skater in Kiss and Cry. 
a total of 157.93 points, in total 244.43. The refereeing team was merciless, noticing several under-rotations on the jumps at once. Perhaps the referees lacked artistry at the box office grassl, although he tried very hard to show sincere emotions. For comparison, the king of the ice theatre Jason Brown, without a single quadruple, managed to score 185-87 points, for both programs 280-04. Incredibly close to the best result of his career at the Olympics. Kevin Amos's gladiator also made an indelible impression. He started with a quad toe loop and didn't go to quads anymore, but how he skated, bright, subtle, clear, he literally hypnotized the judges, who gave him crazy marks, 187-41 points, total 282-97. The reaction was stunning. Both the skater and his coach were jumping for joy, screaming and crying at the same time. Wow! Keegan Messing also did not lose face. He started with two excellent quad toe loops, one of them in a combination, made a butterfly on a triple axle in a combination, and also lost one of the elements, but still managed to finish on a good note. Hall gladly supported the athlete. Alas, the referees were strict. 166-41 points, in total 265-16. And now it's time to show their free programs to the top three. Cha Jun Wan was the first to join the fight for medals. The epic program about James Bond began with a tall quadruple Sao Kao, which the judges rated at almost plus five. A little less about plus four received a quadruple toe loop, good goes were also in the Ultra C Triple Lutz Cascade Triple Loop Loop. The skater gathered his strength and did not allow a single blot, two triple axles in the second half were wonderful, and non-jumping elements are a feast for the eyes. What a beautiful bower he has! The student of Brian Orser did everything in his power, and the arbitrators rewarded him for his efforts. 196.39 points, 296.03 for two programs. Incredible! But what happened next is beyond comprehension. Ilya Malinin, a young technical genius, announced six quadruple jumps for this free program, including a quad axle, so what? He did it. The pupil of Rafael Harutinian swung slightly on the element of four and a half turns, because of this it was not possible to maintain concentration on the quad flip step out. The next quad Lutz was not exactly clean, but the quad Salkow is great, as is the combination of quad Lutz and triple Salkow through the Euler, and the combination of quad and triple toe loop in the second half of the run. An unusual cascade of triple Lutz triple axle was the final element, with which Ilya also managed. Historical performance, which was criminally low rated by the judges. 188.06 points, 288.44 the final result. Looks very much like a robbery. Close the competition program show Mauno. Far from everything worked out for the athlete Stefan Lambiel, but the quadruple loop at the beginning of the rental was gorgeous. The skater landed the quad salkow on two legs, but then corrected himself and made a quadruple flip. Two trixels and a quad toe loop did not raise any questions, but the cascade with a quad toe loop did not work out. Instead of the second jump, there was a butterfly. In addition, Uno was left without a second cascade, but this did not prevent him from becoming a two-time world champion. Shoma defended the title with 196.51 points for a total of 301.14.